Hello everyone. Um, it's been a while since I've done an update video on my CD shop, so I was bored and I want to, you know, give you guys an update what I have right now. Now, like I said, last time I did this was about maybe two, three months ago, so nothing much has changed. But I've gotten some cool albums in the past. Still got my Bissick, some ACDC, like Let the Be Rock, High with the Hell. Black and Black, the 74 Jailbreak EP, Razor's Edge, ACDC Life, Silver for Lip, Black Eyes, and the brand new one, ACDC Power Up. Then I have Agalog A Mantle, their best album, Aaliyah's Starbridge's debut album. A two CD booklet, pretty awesome. I finally got an Anthem on album, one of the good ones. I thought the name of probably the best. Ashes of Life, again from Portugal, one of the best Portuguese bands out there right now. Aspects, I finally got the brand new album, Necro Sorrows, which will be the end of the year list for me. And then I got Atramenta for Sargon. This was a gift given to me by my friend Hannah, so thank you Hannah. Now onto Bathory, and I finally finished the Bathory catalog, in my opinion. Yes, I know you're gonna be saying I am missing Requiem, Octagon, and Destroyer Worlds. I might get Destroyer Worlds in the future, but Requiem and Octagon, not, not really high on my list, but if the time comes, I might get them. The Beatles. Everyone likes the Beatles. Next up, Behemoth, The Sickness, their best album ever. Some Funeral Dew with some Bell Witch, Mary Reaper. And some Billie Eilish. I really love this album. I might get the new album, but we shall see. And then the Black Dahlia Murder with Abysma. This was a gift given to my friend Raphael. Thank you for that. It's Black Salads, Paradise, a classic. Some Vortnagar with True North. Boston Subtitle, classic. Finally got some Cannibal Corpse. And beware of the album cover. Two for the mutilated. Brutal. We got some Clouds. With some Dure. Cradle Phil. Finally got me some Cradle Phil. My favorite cruelty in the beast. Talk about this with Bathory. Also some Dark Throne. Blazer in the Northern Sky. And Transylvanian Hungry. Got the Dead Sea from the from the country of Georgia. Still Scream Bloody Gore. And now I finally have Leprosy in my collection. Jeff Leopard with Pyromania, Geo's Holy Diver, Plastic. On to the second show. And my arm kind of hurts, kind of hard doing just one arm at a time. Dissection, Storm of the Light of Spain, the Argentina version since it doesn't have the logo of the dissection of the album cover, but still great album. The Doors, subtitled, it's the Doors, Classic. Eagles Hotel California. Emperor of the Night Side Eclipse, one of the mutual favorites of the Horseman Podcast. And Tomb Left Hand Path, monumental Swedish death metal band, one of the best ever. Some flip from Mac with rumors, I mean, still to this day. But with Mac favorite thing, that's what thing. From Porison, the um, post metal band from California. Freyer with 692, talking about the same witch trials in Massachusetts. Very doomy sludge. You're gonna love this, like that kind of genre. Ghost Meliora, my favorite ghost album of all time. Green Day with American Idiot. I mean, come on, it's Green Day. Guns N' Roses, Apache for Destruction, another great album. 
Onto Him. I only had the first four Him albums. When um, not one of the um, greatest love in volume six six six. Razor Blade Romance. Deep Shadows and Brilliant Highlights. And of course, Love Metal. I need to get the rest. Eventually, I'll get them. Ice Earth. I have Horror Show. Thankfully, with the last time I did this video, the Ice Earth discography is still for grabs. In other words, it's not going up in price like, like I thought it was going to be because of what happened. But I'm planning on getting more Ice Earth albums. Insomnium, Heart Like a Grave. Great melodic death metal band from Finland. And I'm planning to get more. Inferior, great band from Italy with the modern taste in Death Doom, and it was very high in my list of 2020 albums of the year. Iron Maiden time. So, lately I've been into an Iron Maiden vibe since the new album was released. So, I have here this the debut album, that album cover, kind of punky. Again, Steve Harris doesn't say, doesn't want to admit it, but nevertheless. Killers. Number of the Beast, my favorite of the Maiden discography. Somewhere in Time. Seven Son of a Seven Son. Brave New World. And Dance of Death. I did pure the new Maiden album, so I'm very excited for that. On to Priest. Of course, we have Sad Wings of Destiny. British Steel, Defense of the Fate, my favorite, and Painkiller, and I will plan on getting more arms in the future. Some Canatonia, Dance of the Silver Souls, one of the pioneer albums to establish a lot of Death Doom. Mariana's Rest, probably one of the front runners for the 2021 Albums of the Year list, which I am pretty excited. On to Marilyn Manson, we have, of course, Antichrist Superstar, Mechanical Amos, and his latest album, We Are Chaos, which is probably one of the best albums he has done in close to five years. Up to us with some Marvels, Metamorph Metamorphosis, great American Doom band from the States. Check them out. Some Mayhem, The Mysterious Dome Satanas, one of the greatest black metal albums of all time with the track with a sad story. Onto some Meatloaf, some Battle Hell 1, and 2. Rock Opera. What more can I say? Next we have Metallica. We have some Kill Em All, Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, and of course, The Black Album. And last but not least for the second show, Michael Jackson's Thriller. I like Michael Jackson. This is probably his most selling out of all time next to Back in Black. On to the shelf number three. We have some ministry. It's um, Psalm 69, probably the best industrial album ever. Some more tales, Alters of Madness. This comes with the two CD which has the album and some live tracks, which is pretty good album tracks. Some Motorhead, Aftershock. I need to get more Motorhead in the future as well. And that will happen in due time. My Dying Bride, Like the God of the Sun. And their most recent one, Ghost of a Ride. Then you gotta have some Nirvana in your collection. Great brunch. Some depressive suicidal black metal from Canada with none with a damn chill alive. Obituary with the cause of death. Pretty album. Next up we got some Ordric Room with Pinted Minor, a great post death doom band. This will be very high on my 2021 album of the year list. On to a fishing trees. I almost done a fishing trees. I just need the first two albums, but I have their best album recent. Giving yourself over, which was a pain to find cheap, but I finally found it. All the way from 
think somewhere in Asia I found it for 30 bucks. Pretty good deal. We got some Morsvide. And the latest one, the Death of Gaia. Up next, on Toro Sunlight with Renos. This was my third album in 2020. It was, for me, it was the best Death Duke album of 2020. But yeah, great album. Opet, Blackwater Park, probably one of the best, if not the best, Opet album. Ozzy Osbourne, Lizard of Oz, and the latest one, Ordinary Man. Up next, we have some Paradise Lost with Gothic, probably the best Paradise Lost album to date. And then this was one of my favorites. It is the Organic Times, which has a little booklet, some bonus tracks. Great album. Next, we have Pearl Jam with 10, their debut album. Great. And then we have, of course, Pink Floyd with The Dark Side of the Moon and The Wall, which I will get more Pink Floyd eventually as well. This Primordial to Nameless Death. Thanks to my friends Hannah and Archer for giving me to Primordial. I don't know what I would have done if I discovered this sooner, but you know, it's better late than ever. Cry Riot with Metal Hell. Up to Tom Rammstein with Sink Socked. And Muta. Next we have some Rise to the Sky with Death Will Not Keep Us Apart and Let Me Drown With You and I'm planning to get the new Run to the Sky album sometime before the year ends next we have some Shiny with some Homestead V probably one of the most oddest weirdest uncomfortable suicidal black metal out there it's time for the tapes on heart so if you want to listen to it at your own risk some Skid Row, the subtitle. Up next we have some Slayer with Rain and Blood, their best album. And of course, God Hits Us All with the original album cover, but unfortunately this was taken down because it came out in when the 9-11 attacks happened. So yeah. Some Sodom with In the Sign of Evil. And on the back it has the debut album Obsessed by Cruelty, which this was a Christmas gift I got from my buddy Levi. So, Levi, thank you for that gift. Just try to put it back. There you go. Selwyn in Imperial. I have no idea how much this has been my heavy rotation for the past month, couple of months, and this will be very high on my list of 2021. Up next. My favorite discography that I've finished, Swallow the Sun, from The Morning Never Came, to The Ghost of Lost, Hope, The Plague of Butterflies EP, New Moon, Emerald Forest, and Blackbird, which is the most underrated. Songs from the North 1, 2, or 3 with that big brick of an hour. Just look at this brick. I love it to death. And then on to the last shelf, of course, we have When It Shines Brought It to the Light. And I did pre order the live bubble, the 3D, 3, the 3D 2 disc set, which probably should come out in late July. Ty Kaffle with Meta. This has been playing in the background all this time. Thank you for kind of introducing me to this band. <sighs> Amazing album. Look, those fell. Eh. And of course we have Truth of Eternity with Arbor the Nango. Rest in peace, Aaliyah. Over, Flowers of Evil. Again, thank you, Hannah, for getting me into Over. Up next, I have Welcome to Hell and Black Metal by Venom and thank you to my friend Lena for 
hooking me up with these albums because I love Venom. And I have Wayfarer, a romance of violence, great kind of Midwestern California theme, but with black metal. Then I have White Zombie, like for Sista, probably their best album. And then I have X Japan's Art of Life, which this was a pain to find. Original printing and also came up with this little booklet that comes with the, the lyrics. And last but not least, 10 years with Division. This was a gift by a former co-worker, which I am grateful that she gave me this. And yeah, that's the... CD collection. I am planning getting more CDs. Hopefully by the end of the year, if not beginning of next year, I can do another update and probably finish that show and probably get another show and just let the collection grow. And that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay metal, and I'll see you in the next one.